What's up guys? So today we're gonna finish up the pit bike suspension. We're gonna do the rear end, get the rear shock on, maybe the swing arm. But uh, Joe is here, he's gonna come with us since he's buying the uh, old Pistol Pro. We're gonna get it loaded up in the back of his truck. So we don't have to take two vehicles. Joe's truck is polished. Um, all right, got this thing all strapped down. Joe's got to get all hit. I'm not even out of the bed yet. You're already putting stuff in here. I don't care. He also got 1% tint. He had 5% before. And now it's just, it's way, it was too dark before. You couldn't see anything at night. Now it's going to be even crazier. He rolls out his windows as it is to be able to see, or when he's turning at least, he's got to roll, the, roll his windows down every time we go somewhere. It's ridiculous. All right, guys, we're just pulling up to Andrew's house. Joe, you, why are you backing in? It's easier to get the bike off. We're just pulling up to Andrew's house. We're going to get the bike taken. It looks like Andrew's washing the bikes from area um, yesterday. So, yeah, we're going to get the bike out and start ripping the stuff apart, build Joe's bike up since he's buying that Pester Pro. See what we can get into. Oh, man. Andrew, washing the bikes, huh, bud? Yeah. Looks like your bike's on the ground there. Oh, you still got that clapped arm, don't you? Dude, you ripped the clap sticker off? Come on! You got a Yamaha stand and you got a Suzuki. I don't know. What are you doing? If you saw my last video, you see that uh, Andrew selling his RM250 for like 500 bucks, I think, on Craigslist. But if you guys think I should buy this instead of like a KX125, comment below. Give this video a like. If it, I don't know what. I did a goal for the last video where I mentioned me buying this if it got like 10,000 likes, I think. I said within the first week I'd buy a two stroke. And you guys literally destroyed it. It got like 10,000 likes within the first like five hours. So I kind of screwed myself over on that one. Not that I don't want to buy one anyway. 0705, whatever, same thing. RM250. I showed you guys in my last video, but for all the people that haven't seen that, I'm showing you guys one more time. You want this VP and then pin? here's the Pister Pro. We're gonna put those forks on here for Joe because he's buying that. Look at this! I'm giving Joe a VP kit. Whoa! Brother. Wait, I think you got a little in there. Oh yeah. You can, <laughs> can you get that or no? <laughs> I don't want to make a fucking fish. <laughs> it's not gonna break on you. You just gotta hit it a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's going in. Take that camera. Get it in the whole butt. Let's get see how. She, yeah. You gotta get the triple clamps and stuff. <laughs> Joe's having some difficulties here trying to build this by himself. This whole point forward, not yeah, it's alright, it's alright. It's not alright. And we'll go through and fix it all. Are you hear all these yeah, just, just, just oh, throw the TTR over. What the fuck with that? Put the seat on it so you can see how it sits once you sit on it. Doesn't look that bad to be honest with the KLX front suspension. <laughs> Got it, buddy? See how it sits? Sit on it. Sit on it. Yeah, it's a little push forward. I know it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think we just backflip into a pond and call it a day. Backflip into yeah. a pond. This is Joe's way of putting the bike on the stand. <laughs> yeah, nice and straight on there, not crooked. It's not going to fall off or anything. Alright, so we just got this thing all put together, all the plastics put on. It needs a new throttle cable and carburetor on it for it to work properly because they put the pet. I don't know. I don't even know what he did to it, but all it needs is a new carb and the thing will run perfect with a new throttle tube and throttle cable. But uh, yeah, overall, the thing doesn't look too bad. It, it fits, Joe. We're not gonna swap out the shock. I'm not even gonna bother swapping it out on my KLX. I'll probably just get a stiffer um, spring or just totally different shock, because I'll have to cut the frame in order for that original shock to fit on mine. But yeah, that's the update on the suspension for the pit bike. And next week's video should be the uh, motor work that they'll stay on the lookout for that. Subscribe if you're new if you want to see the whole build series or go back and see the full uh, front suspension video I did on it. All right, we got the pit bikes all loaded up in the back of the truck. We're just leaning this Pistol Pro over next to the KLX. I don't even know why I brought the thing. Oh, I knew that one. Here's Big Money Joe over here. I had this one. Wheeling and dealing. 
Oh, now you bring out the strap? Wait, now you bring you out the strap? I appreciate it. That's gonna go into another bike. Yeah. That's actually... I watch your videos all the time. I Dude, love that's them. sick. Thank you. I love your friend here. What's up, guys? So today we're just gonna do some casual stuff. We gotta bring this... Uh, quad here this raptor 350 that you guys have seen in all the background of my videos you always ask why i don't ride it it's not mine it's my cousins we're taking it to the shop to figure out what the problem is we don't know that's why we're bringing it there but just for uh giggles we're just gonna jump start it on the truck and see if we can get it going one last time before we bring it there and waste some money to get it fixed by somebody else because he doesn't want to deal with it. he just wants to get it running so yeah that's what we're doing this is what we're dealing with right now yeah, it is a little corroded on that battery. That's probably why my light bar doesn't work, but and I blew a fuse on it. I doubt this is gonna work, but why not try it? I guess. All right, truck's running. Let's see if we can get this thing started one last time. Nothing. Is the gas on? It should be. It's over now, but yeah. Screw it. Yeah, does it have gas? Does it have gas? Yeah, of course. Alright, it didn't work. We're just turning it off. We're just gonna bring it like we were originally. I got it. Just trying. Got the quad all loaded up back here. Bring it to the shop and tell them what's wrong. It's just not getting spark. If you guys watched my last video, it's not getting spark and it turns over and stuff, but we're just gonna drop it off, get it all taken care of for us. Or for us, for him. All right, so we just brought it to the first shop. They said they didn't have time to do it. They, they're too backed up with the product that they sell. So now we're bringing it to another shop to try to get it fixed and see if we can just drop it off and tell them to fix it. And uh, yeah, get it all figured out. Oh. All right, so store number two, they are also booked back two weeks. So we're gonna have to drop it off like early May, May 1st, May 2nd, whenever. One of those days to try to get this stupid thing fixed finally. And yeah, that's where we're at right now. All right, and we are back home. Where we started, unloading the quad just to take it back. I also picked up a fresh uh, front tire for the Cowie since my uh, my other one was bald and the knobbies are ripping off. So I got that, good to go for area this weekend. Gotta put that on, I gotta put that on sometime this week when I find time to do it or when I get motivated to put it on. Wow, I love quads. Quads, honestly, are like way more fun. You don't, you're a lot faster on quads. Everybody that rides a quad is definitely a lot faster than dirt bike riders. So uh, it's just the way to go, you know? It's just the way to go. Ow. The handlebars might turn. We'll rip the pit bike around for a little bit. Why not? It's nice outside today. I was almost dragging Fender yesterday. I have some iPhone clips, maybe I'll insert them now. And I was getting pretty close. I looped it out like once, but I don't know. I couldn't get it quite because I did. I cut my back fender since I scraped the last time I ate it on the on the um, road. Last time I ate it on the road, I scraped the whole back fender up, so I had to cut it with a razor, and it probably took off a good like inch, two inches. So it is a little bit shorter, and they have to go a little bit further back to hit it. But I was never able to do it before. I don't know why. I'm but I'm able to do it now. We'll see. Complete circle around, I couldn't quite do it. I 
I'm gonna loop it out. I guarantee I'm gonna loop it out for sure if I go any further. Close enough. This is what I'm gonna get right now. I don't feel like eating it and having to buy a new fender. Such a little girl. Do some more when I get back. A little bit. Probably gonna go get something to eat right now for dinner. Rip this thing around after. Do something with it. I don't know. We'll see. Back from dinner, got a nice uh, BLT wrap, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna rip around the pit bike for a little bit. I'm gonna try to clear that jump by the pond like I did on my 250s. If you saw my last couple of videos, I think it's like four videos back. But uh, yeah, this video is all over the place. I was one, the beginning of the video, I'm at Andrew's house fixing the pit bike, working on it. Now I'm bringing the quad. Probably just gonna combine these videos since I don't think that last video was long enough. But uh, yeah, you'll see it together anyways. I spent like 15 minutes trying to tighten my chain up since it fell off once again hitting this jump and the, and the chain tensioner broke so I got it rigged together right now and hopefully it doesn't fall off. I'm gonna have to order the uh, new chain tensioners tonight. Came up a little short. Chain didn't fall off so that's good. Fun though. Sounded funny. <laughs> I bottomed out hard though. Need a better rear, better rear shock on here. A little stiffer spring. Oh, oh. Front brakes don't work good. So I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. It's all over the place. Like I said, I got a bunch of different clips from a bunch of different days. I think it's like three days worth of filming. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and wanna see more, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. You should definitely give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And like I said, stay on the lookout for the pit bike build series coming up. More of those videos are coming out as I get the parts in. And the more moto vlog stuff for the track, since the weather is getting nicer, I'm gonna be going to the track more. And yeah, off that, I'll see you guys in my next video.